J.R.R. Tolkien, a man who was born at the end of the 1800s and lived to see a large chunk of the 1900s. He grew up and saw the industrial age take over, and he saw industrialism start to root out the nature that he loved as a child. He fought in World War I in the trenches, where he began crafting one of the world's most amazing stories. After the war, he would then go on to put his stories to the page, and some would say that his book, The Lord of the Rings, is second only to the Bible in terms of sales. With the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, soon to be upon us in all of its glory, it seems odd that this show would air on the anniversary of the death of the late but never forgotten J.R.R. Tolkien. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce, and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I have been thinking about how to phrase this video all day, and how to talk about it. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power dropping its official trailer. Everybody is talking about it. Everybody is watching it and doing first impressions or doing reviews of the trailer, and saying how it is an abomination to what Tolkien wrote, and how... Tolkien himself would have absolutely detested it. And the biggest thing about the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, that so many people are not talking about is why they are doing it. Why release this show, which is blatantly against Tolkien and everything that he wrote on the anniversary of his death. I think that this is a cultural point. I think this is one of the last throws of the fourth great religion that they're going to try to throw at us in the mainstream. Maybe all of this for the last however many years in the fourth great religion, also known as wokeism, was just to distract us from larger things happening in the world. Things that drew us away from the beauty of the world, what beauty it had left. Although we didn't grow up in a world like Tolkien that was free of industrialism and free of so many things that he saw, we did, however, grow up in a world that was amazing. Our ability to communicate with each other is unparalleled. No human being has ever seen the type of communication that we can have. No human being has ever been able to see the technological advancements that we have come into. And yet, we see... All of these modern-day individuals reaching back in time, grabbing timeless stories and making sure that they are nailed down to a specific moment in time. Why do this? What's the point? Why? Why take one of the greatest fantasy stories that has ever been written, one of the greatest fantasy genres? Sorry, not genres. Uh, universes and nail it down to a specific time period. Why is it that this fourth great religion and these people who bow down to it must strip away the timelessness and all of the virtue that is in it? Well, I think it's this. I think that it's what is happening right now. One is due to the lockdown, the season of the lockdown, as I like to call it. I will no longer call it the pandemic because reasons. But due to the season of the lockdown, I think that all of these companies had all of this stuff in the bag. They thought that they were in full swing. We're just going to pick up right where we left off. But the fact of the matter is, is that when real harm comes to the world, and I'm not talking about the pandemic, I am talking about, however, what so many governments did to their people over the last few years. When those things are in check, this fourth great religion seems to fall apart. And this is not something that people would go along with anymore. And I think that this is something that people are fighting back on. I have been wondering if releasing the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, 
on September 2nd, the anniversary of Tolkien's death, is a simply to just one final way to just mock people. You hear that Amazon has so much riding on this and there's so much money that they could lose and that the showrunners are supposedly worried behind the scenes from people that, I mean, YouTubers that I watch say that, that Amazon's freaking out a little bit. They have their sources and these people are telling them that the freak out is on. But yet, at the same time, there is seems to be no course correction. They seem to only be doing moves specifically designed to mock a man who stood for his virtue, who stood for his themes. And that is something that I utterly do not understand. I can understand if some people chalking it up to utter stupidity that the, the this movie th uh, studio sorry, Amazon Studios, is just completely oblivious to the world around them and they have absolutely no idea what real virtue, real hardship, and what real camaraderie is. And so thusly, they have to try to put some version, some imitation. It's like imitation camaraderie. Imitation crab is what they're giving us. It's never as good as the real thing and we know that it's probably not even made from the real thing. They slap these names on all these characters, but watching the trailer myself, I could not help but think this feels like it was a different show entirely and could have possibly worked had they simply abandoned the title, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Putting this show out on the date of Tolkien's death is a mockery to the man and is not something that should be tolerated. I cannot believe that with this coming to the foreground for so many people that so many more people are not looking back in time and wondering what made the story so great. The media narrative around this show is that it's the biggest and bestest ever, as we have heard with so many shows, but yet I wonder, still, why? Why make these changes? Why release it on the anniversary of his death? They say that it, the, at least some of the showrunners have said, oh, well, they go back to Tolkien, they go back to the books, but yet I've not heard any dialogue from the books. I've spoken with friends of mine who have read much more of Tolkien's work than I have, and they're like, that, that doesn't, no, that's, that's not, something doesn't jive there. That's not what he would have written. That's not how the characters were written, and those events that they're attempting to show off never happened. So how is this an honor of Tolkien himself? And the only thing that I can come to the conclusion of is they are either other, utterly stupid or working with pure malice. They are trying to re-envision the world that built them and built this great society that we have seen in front of us. No, I'm not referring to the great society. I'm saying we are a great society. But I think that they are without virtue. And they do not understand it. And so thusly because they are without virtue and they do not understand it. And they cannot grasp onto the things that lead men and women to greatness. They simply have to take from someone else an attempt to pervert greatness and call it their own. And then they say they are great for doing it. I find this show in what I have seen of it so far, utterly lacking in virtue and morality. And it does not seem to understand how culture was impacted by Tolkien. They want to impact culture, and yet they can't. All they can do is rip down the culture that is before them. So, to everybody out there who is wondering, well, why do you talk about this show? If it doesn't matter... You know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Uh, trust me, I'm not going to. Eh, there might be some people here on YouTube that might push me into it. But it's not about watching it or not watching it. It's about watching these people rip into the past. And literally sit there and tell us that the past was not what it is. They're trying to say the past was only evil and nothing good ever came from it. And that is something that has been stirring inside of me all day. Thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. 
And if you guys like what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button. This was definitely more of a toned down video than what I usually do. A lot of times I get a little louder, but honestly, when talking about this, I am really, really wondering what is happening here. And I would very much love to start a conversation with everybody in the comments to discuss the greater issues as a whole here. The cultural impacts here, the moral impacts here, the societal impacts here, and what they have been trying to do. If you guys like what I'm doing, hit the like button for me. That definitely helps the videos out. And subscribe and come back for more. I'll be covering a lot, uh, a lot of indie comic books as the time goes on. I'll be covering the Ripperverse. That is one thing that many of you who are already here know about. And just so you guys know, 80% of the people who are checking out the channel and checking out videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys all subscribed overnight, this channel would blow up in a way that I'm not prepared for. So thank you all so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.